Hello everybody, today I'm going to be giving my predictions for every week two NFL matchup. Last week went 12 and 4 against the spread, which was pretty good mark. Would love to do that well again this week. 10 and 6 straight up. Hoping to improve on that. Let's dive right into the picks here, starting with the Green Bay Packers and the Atlanta Falcons. Should be a really interesting matchup. The Falcons won last week versus the Panthers. They ran the ball really effectively, didn't make Desmond Ritter do too much. The Packers had a very good game against the Bears, kind of controlled in all three phases of the game. And I do think Jordan Love showed some nice things. I do think both teams have some nice players on defense. I think that the play calling is pretty good for both of these sides as well offensively. I'm going to go with the Packers 21-16. to Ultimately, I do think this is a tough game. I could see it going either way, but going to back the Packers in this week one matchup. Next, we have the Buffalo Bills and the Las Vegas Raiders. The Bills had a rough Monday night football game against the Jets. Obviously, you know, they lost Aaron Rodgers. The Bills really should have won that game. Josh Allen just pretty much gave it single-handedly away to the Jets at the end with just interception after interception. Just bad decision-making. It really wasn't a good game for the Bills' offense in particular. This defense had a good game, but they were playing Zach Wilson pretty much the entire game, so you'd expect them to. I do expect them to win this game 27-20. to The Raiders showed some nice things in their first week of action. The offense looked pretty good. Jacoby Myers and Devontae Adams showed some nice things, and I think Josh McDaniels can get pretty solid quarterback play out of Jimmy Garoppolo, much like Kyle Shanahan did. Ultimately, I do think this Bills team is too talented. I do think they bounce back, but I do have the Raiders covering that 8.5 point spread, which is a bit too large for me. Then we have the Cincinnati Bengals and the Baltimore Ravens. This one's an interesting one. I do think that you know the Bengals are going to bounce back after a really terrible week one performance against the Browns. I think the Ravens didn't necessarily look amazing against the Texans. thought the offense was a little bit shaky. The defense had some nice plays, but they pretty much just blitzed C.J. Stroud. And, you know, in a game where he didn't have very good protection, it was his first game as a pro, he didn't handle it amazingly. So I do think that that will be a little bit different with Joe Burrow. Hopefully Burrow is able to bounce back. I do have them ultimately winning this game 27 to 23 and covering that spread. I do think the Bengals bounce back and get a much needed big victory after just getting blown out by the Browns the previous week. Next we have the Lions and the Seahawks. Do you think this will be a close game as well? The Lions, you know, obviously had a fantastic week against the Chiefs in week one. I do think they're going to be able to run this football very effectively against a pretty weak Seattle front seven. I do think the Seattle offense does need to get in a much better rhythm than they did in week one against the Rams. They really struggled in the second half in particular. I do think that they're going to be able to score some points against this Lions defense, but ultimately I think the physicality, especially in the trenches from the Lions, is going to be too much and that they ultimately win this game and advance to 2-0. and I have the Lions winning this one 24-20. I do have the Seahawks covering that spread, but I think the Lions do win this game. The next game we are looking at, the Tennessee Titans versus the LA Chargers. I'm going to go with an upset here. going to pick the Titans to win this one. I do think that the Chargers are not going to be able to run the ball as effectively as they did in Week 1 versus Miami. This Titans defense, I think, is incredibly underrated. They're so well coached by Mike Vrabel. The offense for the Titans is kind of a disaster, but they still have Derrick Henry early in the season where he is just so difficult to tackle. I do think that this Chargers run defense is still pretty leaky on the interior of that defensive line. I still think they have some big question marks. So ultimately, I think that the Titans' strengths really kind of play well to this Chargers' weaknesses. Obviously, the Chargers could come out, score a bunch of points with Justin Herbert. Ryan Tannehill, if he plays like he did last week, is not going to be able to keep up. But I do think that, you know, much like we talked about with the Lions Seahawks, I do think that the Titans have the physicality advantage up front. Even if their offensive line isn't the most talented, they're going to want to run the ball. Their defense is really stifling, and I have them winning this game 26-24. Next, we have the Buccaneers and the Bears. I do think the Bears showed some really, really rough things on tape on Sunday against the Packers. They just didn't look good. The play calling seemed pretty weak. It was a lot of horizontal stuff that don't let Justin Fields throw down the field. Fields really wasn't reading the field well. He wasn't throwing with anticipation. There's just a lot of big question marks on this team, and the defense still looks pretty rough. The defensive line is just an absolute disaster, and the defensive play calling is really, really squishy. They just don't really 
play aggressively. They don't play press man. They don't get up in your face. They don't blitz. And I do think that this Buccaneers team, who played pretty well against the Vikings in Week 1, are going to take advantage. This team still has a really solid defense. I think this team you know, can score some points with Baker Mayfield earlier on in the season. You know, He tends to kind of go through waves where he's really hot and then he's really cold. He played decently in Week 1, and I think he could continue to play well in Week 2. I do have the Buccaneers winning this one 24-18, covering that spread and winning this game. Next, the Chiefs versus the Jaguars. The Chiefs, I have winning this one 31-26. Should be a fantastic quarterback matchup for the Chiefs. Should be getting Travis Kelsey as well as Chris Jones back in the building. That'll be huge. I do think that Trevor Lawrence and this offense can go toe-to-toe with the Chiefs offense, but ultimately, I just have a hard time seeing Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs going 0-2 to start the year. I do think they win this one 31-26. I think they cover the spread and get the win versus a tough Jaguars team. Next, the Texans and the Colts. I think this should be an interesting one. Anthony Richardson, I think, had a decent debut. He really showed what he could do with his legs, especially had some good velocity. And I do think that, you know, in an offense coached by Shane Steichen, he is going to be effective. CJ Stroud, on the other hand, didn't have amazing protection. But I do think when his offensive line gave him time, he was dicing up the defense in the middle of the field, especially. He was very effective there, much like he was at Ohio State. And I do think that the Texans may be able to have some nice plays against this Colts defense, who's decent, but I definitely don't think they're one of the top units in the league. I have the Texans winning this one in a low-scoring one, 17-14, in a bit of an upset. I do think that the Texans defense played fairly well against the Ravens in Week 1, so I am excited to see what they can do, and I do expect them to get a very closely contested win in Week 2 against Indianapolis. Now the 49ers and the Rams. The 49ers looks like one of the best teams, if not the best team in the NFL. I had them ranked number one in my power rankings, and they just dominated the Steelers in Week 1 in all three phases of the game. They just got out early and purely dominated dominated the Steelers up front. Really, really impressive performance all around. The Rams also did a very good job against the Seattle team that I think is going to be fairly good. Puka Nakua in his first NFL action looked to the part. He is a very interesting player and I'm excited to see what he can do in this Rams offense moving forward. I do think that Stafford played incredibly well. Sean McVay is going to scheme up some really nice looks for this offense. Do you think ultimately they do like the talent on the defense to stop the 49ers? I have the Niners winning this one 34 to 20, obviously covering that spread as well. But I do think the Rams will be able to score some points and make this one a little bit interesting before the 49ers ultimately kind of pull away and win kind of big. Next we have the Giants and the Cardinals. I am confident that the Giants will bounce back. I am not too worried about them, even though they did lose big to the Cowboys last week. I just think that it all kind of went wrong early for the Giants and that they are going to bounce back. This Cardinals team, I just do not have faith in their offense by any means. The defense played decently well, but there's just a real lack of talent there. I'm going to go with the Giants 24-19 to in this one and a big bounce back win for Daniel Jones and this Giants team. Next, we have the Cowboys and the Jets. Both of these defenses are just so good. I do think that the Cowboys offense really wasn't asked to do too much in their game against the Giants because they were up by so much. I do think they'll have a much tougher assignment against this Jets defense. I don't think Zach Wilson is going to be able to keep up. I do think ultimately the Cowboys do win this game 20-13, to but I do think the Jets cover the spread, and I do think it'll be an interesting game, probably a bit more low scoring as these defenses are you know, two of the best in the NFL. The Washington Commanders and the Denver Broncos up next. Both of these teams, I think, are at a very similar spot. You have a lot of uncertainty at quarterback. I think for the Broncos, you're trying to get Sean Payton to really, you know, implement his offense and get the most out of this team. For the Commanders, you've got a young quarterback that you're trying to get the most out of with some solid weapons. This will be a very fun matchup. You've got some pieces on defense on both teams. That defensive line for the Commanders is still, I think, one of the better defensive line units in the league. Ultimately, I am going to go with the Commanders in this one, 26-23. I do think this could be a big game for both teams down the line when you know you're potentially looking at playoff implications so i i am very interested to see how this one turns out i am going to go with the commanders in this one 26 to 23. then we have the dolphins and the patriots i think this is going to be one of the most interesting matchups of the week the Dolphins looked really, really good in their first game against the Chargers. Tua had an amazing performance. Tyreek Hill absolutely went off. And this offense is incredibly explosive and so well coached by Mike McDaniel. The defense on the other side for the Patriots is so well coached. They don't necessarily have superstars, but they have just such a great cohesive unit with Bill Belichick calling the plays. 
think it's one of the better defensive units in the league. They're incredibly underrated. And Mac Jones and Bill O'Brien looked pretty good in their kind of first action together as well. So I do think that this Patriots offense could be much better than we saw last year when it was coached by a defensive coordinator. So I do think that this one could be very interesting. I'm not ready to write off the Patriots by any means. I definitely think they could be in this one. I'm going to go with the Dolphins winning, though, 27-23. to It should be a very fun matchup to watch. Next, the Saints and the Panthers, another tough divisional matchup. Should be an interesting one to watch. Bryce Young didn't necessarily have the best debut performance, but I do think he is going to bounce back and have a really solid game. He does lack some pieces around him to really be like a truly amazing rookie quarterback, but I'm very interested to see what he's able to do. The Saints defense had a good game against the Titans. They forced a lot of mistakes from Ryan Tannehill. Maybe they'll do it again with Bryce Young. Ultimately, though, I am going to go with the Panthers 24 to 23. I do just think that Bryce Young is going to have a bounce back performance. I thought that the defense looked pretty good for the Panthers as well. The Saints obviously do have a lot of nice playmakers, and I do think they can take advantage of a banged up Panther secondary. So wouldn't be at all surprised to see the Saints win this game, but I'm going to go with the Panthers in this one. Should be a very close matchup. And then we have the Browns and the Steelers on Monday Night Football as well. This one's tough. You know, the Browns absolutely dominated in week one. They were a great team, and this defense looked absolutely stifling. On the other hand, the Steelers looked really bad, and, you know, Kenny Pickett in this offense looked really, really bad. But... I am going to go with the Steelers in this one. I am going to pick them 24 to 22. The Steelers have just tended to have the Browns numbers over the years. I do think that Pickett and Pickens will have a bounce back week. The Steelers defense is still really, really good. If they are able to shut down this rushing attack for the Browns, I do think they definitely have a chance. Mike Tomlin's teams are just never going to really get blown out like they did in the week one matchup against the 49ers. So I wouldn't expect, you know, a big win for the Browns here as well. If the Browns win this game, that would be absolutely huge for them to go in 2-0 against divisional opponents. And the Steelers would be in a really tough 0-2 spot. But, you know, I do think that the Steelers have a good chance of winning this game as well. I'm going to back them to win this one in a close one, 24 to 22. That's going to do it for my week two predictions. Let me know how your team is going to do in week two. Who did I get right? Who did I get wrong? If you like score predictions just like this, as well as power rankings, scouting reports, mock drafts, team breakdowns, and so much more, please hit that subscribe button down below. Would truly help me out on the road to 1,000 subscribers and would truly appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.